anthropology course at PPCC touches on so many amazing subjects. Whether it's culture, religion, or even bones, there's plenty of interesting things to learn. We recently sat down with them to discuss their program. What we do is really a venture of trying to understand ourselves by understanding others. And so we do a lot of comparisons, and it's, it's a lot of sort of deep reflection on sort of who you are, where you came from, um, what you know, what you thought you know, and what you actually might not, you know. So it's a lot of uh, sort of unpacking uh, is involved in anthropology. One of the first lectures I give is the different types of anthropology. Because there's always little things that interest people. I mean, I hate to say it, but humans are very self-centered. <laughs> we like to talk about humans and ourselves. So there's always going to be something, some little thing that's going to be like, hmm, mummies or primates or, oh, you went and looked at that site. I've heard of that. I thought that was cool. Um, it's always this, the, the little things that are going to get people kind of excited about certain aspects of anthropology because it's just so broad. Humans are endlessly fascinating. Um, you can have very broad brush strokes and say, oh, I'm interested in all archaeology, or you can say, oh, I'm interested in how this specific culture is dealing with whatever the issue is, you know, how they're making ceramics at this point in time or this location. So you can be very broad or very specific. The anthropology course shows us how fascinating we are as human beings and the many cultures we can learn from. And culture is a big part of, you know, how we're able to adapt. Um, and so, you know, how we organize our thoughts, how we see the world, how we see ourselves, um, what we believe in, all of these things is what makes us human. And that's pretty much, you know, what anthropology is. Um, and we're very interested in all the different kinds of ways that people see themselves and see the world around them. As we study and explore different cultures, they also share their experience out in the fields. Egypt is an amazing place. I was fortunate to work on an excavation on a cemetery in the Delta there, which was fascinating uh, because there were no associated grave goods with these individuals that we were excavating. It was just the skeletonized remains. They were not very well preserved. Um, they were only skeletons and because of the burial conditions, they were very friable, so it was very difficult to excavate them. But it was fascinating because it was having, it was like having a conversation with these individuals. Um, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your health. Um, and you could tell that as you work through each different skeleton. There were some that were in very good health, some that were in terrible health. Um, you can learn a lot from a skeleton. So that was fun. Go into certain parts of anthropology. You have to expect bugs and you have to expect dirt and you have to expect snakes because you're an archaeologist, a paleoanthropologist, uh, a bioarchaeology, which was basically what I was doing. That, that's that's the hazards you have to deal with but that said it's really fun i mean if you ever get a chance go on a dig even if you're not becoming any of those things because it's fun um you get to see interesting things you go to interesting places you get to talk to interesting people um and anthropologists are notorious for having great parties so uh it's another reason <laughs> As you can see, anthropology can lead to some great adventures and new knowledge about the world we live in. History knows no bound, and there is so much more to discover. Anthropology is limitless in its research, and around every corner there's something new to explore. Thank you for watching, 